Good morning there, folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to use the uh, tag uh, type is device online to monitor whether or not a Modbus slave or a doesn't have to be a Modbus slave, can be any protocol, is talking to a uh, HMI. So in this case, I've got a GO9 HMI set up as a Modbus master. And on this particular uh, unit, I've got the driver selected as a Modbus master. And then I have another HMI, a little four inch, set up as a Modbus slave uh, under this master here. And so if I go open up that program, uh, you can see here, this is the program that is running in the four inch. And on the four inch, I have it set up as a Modbus slave. Um, the IP address is right here, dot 20. And then since I'm using the slave driver here, that means I'm in total control of what uh, transpires uh, in or out of this guy. What I'm doing is I'm just taking 10 internal tags and mapping them to the 40,001 holding registers through 40,010. Notice the arrow here. And then these particular tags, all I'm doing here, team, is I'm using a random generator. Let me make this so you can see it. Oh, maybe I won't. Hold on. There. All of these are just using a function called random. So, and I'm just generating a number between 0 and 32,767 or 765, I guess it looks like I put in. And then I have that on the display page running right here. So, on my little webcam, this is something new. Bear with me here. Uh, here's the little four inch screen. It should show the values. There we go. I don't know if it's going to be ghosted, but uh, you can see that they're randomly generating numbers. On the little front screen right there, that's maybe a little better. I'll figure out how to hold this thing. There you go. Just kind of shows it there. And if I slide my camera back, you're going to see here. This is the Modbus. Uh, this is the master screen here. Let me go back to that program. So that is this particular screen here. What I'm doing here <clears throat> is I've got under this particular unit a gateway block that maps all of those registers into our internal tags here. However, the only time this gateway block operates is when the is device online equals one, means it's actually being monitored. Notice the number two right here. That's because uh, this device right here, over here folks, is number two. See the number two? That number two right there is used in this function right here. And if you're wondering where I got the function, it's in the lower left-hand corner yeah, can I move this thing? Yeah, let me move over here. The system area here under functions. Um, I think it's under comms device. Is device online is the function I'm using right here. So I've got this here updating the tags internal. But I also, the customer would like that whenever communications from the HMI to the slave are lost, the customer wants these tag values in the... Uh, move my little screen over here, to go to number 99. So I have a program written that I run on tick that any time that the device online goes off or does not equal 1, I'm going to fill in all these values with 99. So uh, this is just showing the Crimson program. If I can make this full screen, let me see here. I don't hide it. I'll try making this full screen. There we go. Okay. So you're looking now at the actual HMI screen. I know it's upside down because the way I got it sit, sitting here. But team, if I disconnect the HMI from the network, watch the is device online here. It goes to zero. And notice that all of the tags went to number 99. If I slide back over here to the 4-inch cadet, let it uh, dilate. Come on, you camera. Well, are you not going to dilate for me? What's the deal? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, team. You can clearly see that it is still... Uh, generating the numbers but if i slide back over here notice these guys are all sitting 99 so if i go ahead and plug in back in the comms check it out all of a sudden the numbers are starting to update right away and you can see the device online works exactly as the customer wants when the comms drop off goes to zero all the tags now show 99 once it's plugged back in listen there i plugged it back into the switch bam up and running pretty slick there and then of course this guy and notice if I disconnect comms to the HMI, 
This guy keeps on working because it's just the Modbus slave generating random numbers. So, uh, pretty slick way down back and forth. I really like that. Isn't that kind of cool? I think it's pretty sweet. See, zero. I got to disconnect and plug it in. Here we go. Boom. Bam. Anyway, that's a quick and easy way to use is device online function. Hey, folks, thanks a lot. Have yourself a great day. See you later.